Good morning. Welcome to Two Minute Tuesday. In this video, you'll be examining what a moment is, practicing a brief skill for recognizing what's here now, acknowledging our common humanity, then providing love and kindness for yourself, and then opening to the curiosity of what the next moment might bring and being with what is. So what is a moment? The moment was... How would you define a moment? I, I, can't, I can't even say. I don't know. Ask me something simple. A moment in normal time. Normal time is this. What is a moment, though, honestly? It's that thing. It's, that's, it's beyond the senses. Mm, moment. I don't know. I invite you to do this practice with me. Uh, it's relatively simple and straightforward. Uh, it's a brief practice. I invite you to turn inward and simply noticing what's here now. Maybe there's an emotion that can be named or a body sensation. Sensing it, seeing if you can name it. Maybe a tightness or a joy or a sadness or a grief or a sense of loss or anxiousness. Maybe excitement being able to name it, and then simply placing a hand on the chest over the heart, naming it to yourself. Ah, oh, this is hard, this is difficult, or this is sadness, whatever it might be. Sometimes we don't even, might not even have a name for it, but we can say, well, this hurts. 
This is pleasant. And as we name it, shifting into whatever I'm experiencing now is part of being human. Others experience this also. I'm not alone. May I allow this to be present on my heart with love and kindness, with an openness and curiosity, and a willingness to be with what is. Noticing what shows up. Sometimes if it's a difficult and painful emotion, we might find resistance. Maybe resistance around giving ourselves love and kindness or resistance around recognizing that we're not alone in whatever we're experiencing. We can name resistance also. Ah, this is resistance. This also is part of being human. Others experience this also. May I allow this to be present on my heart with love and kindness with an openness and curiosity and a willingness to be with what is. The mind and the brain often do not like paradoxes and the paradox of allowing resistance to be present sometimes allows resistance to soften and make space for us to be able to navigate and tolerate whatever's showing up. And with practice throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the months, each time we do this, we're drawing closer and closer to be present in the moment. And the moment will always be one of those liminal spaces. It's leaving the past behind and moving into the next moment, leaving into the unknown of what that moment might bring with us. A story from ancient teachings, a uh, student asked the teacher, teacher, how come when we do this practice, you ask me to place the loving kindness on the heart rather than in the heart? And the teacher explains to the student, that's so that when the heart breaks, the love and kindness can spill in. The, the text of this practice can be d downloaded in the link down below in the description. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and change the color of the bell. I wish you well.